Hello all. Today we will learn about frequency selective wave analyzers. We already discussed that there are two types of wave analyzers, frequency selective wave analyzer and heterodyne wave analyzers. So in general, the wave analyzers which are used for analyzing signals of the audio frequency range are called frequency selective wave analyzer. General block diagram of a frequency selective wave analyzer is given below. You can see that there is an input attenuator to which input signal is applied. Then you have a driver amplifier stage. The input signal after passing through the input attenuator which attenuates the signal if required. It passes through the driver amplifier which amplifies the signal if it is required. Then it passes to the high Q filter or the high quality factor filter. So the speciality of this filter is, is select a signal using an RC filter stage into a very narrow band pass signal. Now the highly, now the signal after passing through the high Q filter passes into the meter range attenuator. It attenuates the signal into the meter range. It then passes through the output amplifier which amplifies the signal if required into the meter circuit and the output buffer. You can take auxiliary output from the output buffer and the signal from the meter circuit is used to measure the amplitude of the volt amplitude or voltage or using a voltmeter or a CRO. The input attenuator, the audio frequency signal which is to be analyzed is applied to the input attenuator. If the signal amplitude is too large then it can be attenuated by the input attenuator. Driver amplifier as we discussed amplifies the received signal whenever necessary. High Q filter is used to select the desired frequency and reject unwanted frequencies. We will go into the details of the high Q filter in the next slide. Just understand that it consists of two RC sections and two filter amplifiers all of which are cascaded together. We can vary the capacitance values for changing the range of frequencies in powers of 10. Meter range attenuator gets the selected audio frequency signal as an input and produces an attenuated output according to the requirement of the meter used for measurement of the output. Output amplifier amplifies the selected audio frequency signal. Output buffer is used to provide the selected AF signal to the output devices. Meter circuit displays the reading of the selected AF signal. We can choose the meter reading in volt range or in decibel range according to our requirements. The wave analyzer consists of a very narrow bandpass filter section which can be tuned to a particular frequency of our requirement within the audio frequency range. We have already discussed about this. The complex wave to be analyzed is passed through an adjustable attenuator which serves as a range multiplier and permits a large range of signal amplitudes to be analyzed without loading the amplifier. The output of the attenuator is then fed to a selective amplifier which amplifies the selected frequency. The driver amplifier amplifies the attenuated signal to a high Q active filter. This high Q active filter is a low pass filter which allows the frequency which is selected to pass and reject all other frequencies within the input signal. The magnitude of this particular selected frequency is indicated by the meter and the filter section identifies the frequency of the component. The filter circuit consists of a cascaded RC resonance circuit and associated amplifiers. Understand that the capacitors which are used for range changing and the potentiometer is used to change the frequency within the selected passband. Because of this reason, the wave analyzer is also called a frequency selective wave analyzer or a frequency selective voltmeter. The circuit diagram of the frequency selective wave meter wave analyzer is shown here. So you can see that the block diagram shown above has been converted to the corresponding frequency circuit. Here also you can see the input signal being applied to an input attenuator and a driver amplifier. In the block diagram we had seen a high Q filter right. So here they have shown the circuit corresponding to the high Q filter. You can see that there are two RC sections and two filter amplifiers here. Corresponding to the values of the R and C selected here, the range of frequency selected 
varies. So depending upon the range of frequencies which we require to be measured, we can change the corresponding values of capacitor and potentiometer here. Then the signal which is um, selected using the IQ filter is passed into the meter range attenuators at, as you can see which again passes through the output amplifier then the signal which is amplified and attenuated goes to the meter amplifier and detector which is then measured using a respective voltmeter or a CRO the signal also passes to an output buffer from which the signal can be taken to secondary devices for other applications so if you see the features of the frequency selective amplifier wave analyzer you can see that the entire audio frequency range is covered in decade steps by switching capacitors in the rc section of the iq filter the selected signal from the final amplifier stage is applied to the meter circuit and to an untuned buffer amplifier the main function of the buffer amplifier is to drive output devices such as recorders and electronic counters the meter has several voltage ranges as well as decibel scales man, scaled on it, okay, ma marked on it. It's driven by an average reading rectifier detector. The wave analyzer must have extremely low input distortion, which is even undetectable by the analyzer itself. The bandwidth of the instrument is very narrow. We had already said that it's a narrow band filter, typically about one percentage of the selective band given by the following response characteristics. If you see the frequency response characteristics of the high Q filter, you can see that it has a very narrow band as shown by the response curve shown below. So this is all about frequency selective wave analyzers. I hope you have understood this well. In the next class or in the next lecture, we'll go into the superheterodyne or heterodyne video uh, wave analyzers. Thank you.